Pancake everyone! In this video, you'll learn about how modern humans are trying to manage climate change, how they're conquering space, and why China isn't as simple as it seems. Mega projects are massive investments in science, technology and infrastructure that have the potential to change humanity's way of life. By the end of this video, you'll find out about a mega project that Elon Musk failed to execute. Enjoy watching! At the end of 2022, Saudi Arabia announced plans to create one of the most unique projects on our planet. The Line – that's the name of the city – being built in the northwestern part of the country in the Tabuk administrative region. The foundation of the project is a mega structure 170 kilometers long, 200 meters wide and 500 meters tall. The concept here is called zero-gravity urbanism, which means a three-dimensional arrangement of city elements like parks, schools, shops and offices layered on top of each other. This is supposed to provide five-minute pedestrian access to all infrastructure. Additionally, the city is expected to be the smartest and most environmentally friendly in the world. There will be plenty of greenery, no cars and no carbon emissions. People will mainly walk or use electric scooters for transportation. The line project is part of the NEOM strategy aimed at reducing Saudi Arabia's oil dependency. The project claims to create 380,000 jobs and increase the country's GDP by $48 billion. Construction of the city began in mid-January 2021. As of now, the project isn't cancelled, but it faced criticism from various scientists and urban planners from the very beginning. One significant conceptual issue lies in the contradictory nature of the concept. The idea of a linear city stretched along a central road implies an even distribution of employment centers for the population. Otherwise, people flow will inevitably gravitate towards a few locations in the city, causing numerous problems. How they plan to evenly distribute production, housing, shops and office spaces in the line remains unclear. A preliminary estimate indicated that the construction could take around 50 years. Architects and builders will also need to address the issue of bird migration, as the line will close off some flight corridors. Furthermore, the city will alter the dynamics of groundwater movement in the desert. The challenge also lies in attracting investments to the project. If Saudi Arabia can overcome all these hurdles, we might soon witness a structure unlike anything else in the world. Initiated by the African Union in 2007, the project known as the Great Green Wall aims to combat soil degradation and poverty in Africa. The main idea behind the project is to create a forested strip approximately 15 kilometers wide and 8,000 kilometers long, stretching from the western to the eastern coast of the continent. By 2030, the wall is intended to help restore 100 million hectares of degraded land, absorb 250 million tons of carbon annually, and generate 10 million jobs in rural areas. Additionally, the initiative directly contributes to achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. These 17 goals, set by global leaders, aim to eradicate poverty, promote prosperity and well-being for all, and protect the planet's climate. The African project directly impacts the achievement of 15 of these goals, including fighting poverty, hunger, diseases, gender and social inequality, ensuring quality education, promoting stable economic growth, developing infrastructure through conscious production and consumption of goods, and utilizing renewable energy sources. Thus, this initiative brings together African countries and international partners. With its ambitious geoengineering nature, the project has already attracted over $8 billion in foreign investments and is being implemented in more than 20 African countries. As of today, the wall is approximately 15% complete and the results of years of work are gradually becoming visible. Over 25 million hectares of soil have already been restored in countries most affected by drought, such as Senegal, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Niger, and Burkina Faso. In 2013, the Chinese government launched an initiative aimed at creating maritime and land trade routes that connect the country with Asia, Europe, and Africa. The mega-project envisions the development of new transportation corridors, 
including railways, highways, seaports and airports. The initiative is called One Belt, One Road, and not without reason. It refers to a phrase from classical Chinese literature that has the meaning of the Silk Road. The roots of the project largely follow ancient caravan paths from Xi'an through Central Asia to Europe, just as the 21st century maritime Silk Road follows the path that replaced the overland Silk Road in the 15th and 16th centuries when maritime navigation became a more profitable means of transporting goods. Initially proposed by President Xi Jinping, the idea was initially met with skepticism, seen as a slogan or another propaganda campaign. However, in a very short time, it became clear that One Belt, One Road project is a significant program of China's economic and political expansion. It has the potential to reshape the economic and political landscape of Eurasia and the global balance of power. This program, which could be characterized as China's asymmetric response to its primary partner and rival, the United States, becomes the core of China's efforts on the global stage. Who knows? Perhaps this mega-project will indeed influence the conventional structure of the world. The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest particle accelerator, located on the border between France and Switzerland. It was constructed in 2008, buried at a depth of 175 meters underground, and stretches for 27 kilometers in length. The Large Hadron Collider stands as the largest experimental facility globally a construction effort that spanned nearly 10 years, involving more than 10,000 scientists and engineers from 100 countries worldwide. The estimated cost of its creation is around 500 billion rubles, or 4.5 billion euros. In the field of particle physics, there's a crucial postulate called the Standard Model. This theory describes how elementary particles in our universe interact – quarks, bosons, leptons and baryons. Scientists are intrigued by these interactions because they can lead to the discovery of new or extremely rare elements that are poorly understood or not understood at all. This, in turn, can provide insights into the world and its matter. To unveil new particles, experiments must be conducted. Colliders assist scientists in this endeavor. These installations replicate processes that occur naturally, with the collected data then being transferred to computers. Scientists can meticulously study the results of the interactions of charged particles. For instance, the Higgs boson has already been discovered. This elementary particle possesses zero charge and zero angular momentum. Active efforts are underway to search for microscopic black holes. Experiments conducted at the Large Hadron Collider are already helping us learn more about the structure of our universe. Who knows? Perhaps in the near future, humans will be able to decipher all the mysteries of space. Also of interest is the concept of the Dyson Sphere. Proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in the 1960s, it's a hypothetical megastructure. The Dyson Sphere is an enormous sphere built around a star, harnessing all the energy emitted by the star to sustain life and civilization. For example, all the energy we receive from the Sun, proportionate to Earth's cross-sectional area, accounts for only one billionth of what the Sun actually radiates into space. But if we were to construct a shell-like sphere around the star, we could capture all of that energy. The Dyson Sphere has captured the imagination of many scientists and enthusiasts. It could potentially address humanity's energy and resource scarcity challenges. However, Constructing such a structure is firstly an immensely complex technical task and secondly demands colossal investments. Currently, this initiative remains within the realm of scientific research and ideas. Humanity currently lacks the necessary resources for its realization. Nonetheless, many scientists firmly believe that the Dyson Sphere could indeed be built in the future. One of the primary tools for studying the universe is the telescope. There's a vast array of these devices, each helping to expand humanity's knowledge in the realm of space, airborne, ground-based and radio telescopes. The Square Kilometer Array, or SKA, is a massive array of radio telescopes distributed across the Earth's surface, with a combined area of 5 square kilometers. 
The cost of this international mega project is over 200 billion rubles or 2 billion euros. Due to its size, the radio telescope can capture more signals and gather significantly more information. It's not hindered by gas and dust clouds, they're transparent to it. It operates in the low frequency spectrum, which originated billions of years ago. Scientists plan to use this gigantic radio telescope to gather information about events that occurred after the Big Bang. The SKA will study the origin and evolution of galaxies, search for signs of signals from advanced civilizations, find new pulsars, analyze the emissions of known objects and perform numerous other tasks. The SKA is approximately 100 times more sensitive than any existing radio telescopes and has a significantly faster survey speed. Currently, this project isn't operational, but it's expected to begin functioning in the near future. Another project that has gained significant recognition is the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched into space in early 2021, its primary goal is also to study the universe at great distances from Earth. The James Webb Telescope can observe objects that are over 13 billion light-years away from our planet. This helps scientists gain a better understanding of the origin and evolution of the universe. But let's not delve further into this mega-project, as most people are already familiar with it. Let us now tell you about the 30-meter telescope, construction of which has commenced in Hawaii. The 30 meters doesn't refer to the height of the structure, but rather the diameter of the mirror through which observations of space will occur. The budget for this international mega-project is around 200 billion rubles, or 2 billion dollars. Its construction is planned at an altitude of 4 kilometers above sea level on Mauna Kea mountain. This has posed certain difficulties. The renowned 30-meter telescope project was initiated in 2014 and immediately encountered social legal challenges. Local activists, citing the beliefs of native Hawaiians, claimed that construction on the sacred mountain is unacceptable. The project was locked in various courts for several years, despite the fact that Mauna Kea Mountain already hosts an observatory and several scientific centers. However, in mid-June 2021, the state Supreme Court finally approved the construction of the new telescope, and the Hawaiian authorities began clearing the mountaintop of temporary religious structures. Now all that remains is to await the completion of construction, which will enable the observation of new discoveries in the realm of space. This year, a European mission named JUICE was launched towards Jupiter, which stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer. The rocket carrying the JUICE spacecraft will conduct numerous investigations. Specifically, the mission involves comprehensive study of Jupiter and its moons with a focus on Ganymede. There are plans for multiple flybys of this celestial body and even entering its orbit. Observations from Earth and spacecraft suggest that Ganymede might have subsurface oceans of liquid water, making it extremely interesting from the perspective of searching for extraterrestrial life. JUICE will follow a complex trajectory and is expected to reach Jupiter in the summer of 2031. During its journey, the spacecraft will execute several gravitational maneuvers, including three flybys of Earth in different years, a Venus flyby in August 2025, and passage through the asteroid belt. The choice of such a complex trajectory is due to the fact that JUICE will require a significant amount of fuel to operate near Jupiter. Yes, this trajectory will lead the spacecraft to the gas giant only in 2031, but with minimal energy expenditure. The JUICE mission is being carried out by the European Space Agency, with a total cost of 150 billion rubles, or 1.5 billion euros. It falls under the flagship missions of Class L, which are particularly important and designed for long-term operations. The spacecraft and its launch were the result of collaboration among specialists from 23 countries, 18 scientific institutes and 83 private companies. Now we only need to wait for the mission's results and hope for its successful completion. Now let's move on to a mega-project envisioned by Elon Musk. In 2013, the head of SpaceX and Tesla proposed the concept of a vacuum train on a magnetic or air cushion, capable of reaching speeds of up to 8,000 km per hour, or 4,970 miles per hour. 
The transport itself takes the form of a capsule, propelled by an electromagnetic gun. The same system catches and slows down the capsule at the end of the tunnel. The vacuum train doesn't need to overcome air resistance during its movement, and thanks to the magnetic or air cushion, it avoids the friction of traditional rail wheels. This enables the train to travel at twice the speed of an airplane. This project was named Hyperloop, and it successfully underwent testing. In 2020, the company's employees assembled a 500-meter tunnel and propelled a capsule with people in it through it. The testers reached a speed of 172 km per hour, or 107 miles per hour, with the upper speed limit of the system being 1200 km per hour, or 746 miles per hour. However, the testing phase was as far as the project progressed. It never materialized. What stopped such an ambitious idea? According to the official version, the Hyperloop project was heavily impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. However, some media outlets believe that Elon Musk miscalculated the operational costs. At the promised fare of 2,000 rubles or $20, the actual cost would be around 100,000 rubles or $1,000. So while the project is technically feasible, it's unlikely to be used. Time magazine found another reason. They claim that Elon Musk misled everyone. Hyperloop was a diversionary maneuver intended to halt the construction of a conventional high-speed railway in California, which local authorities had been working on since 2015. The introduction of convenient public transportation in the state would reduce the demand for Tesla electric cars. Consequently, the billionaire intercepted the initiative and sold the Hyperloop idea as a more efficient replacement for the standard railway. However, these are all speculations and rumors. Testing has proven the feasibility of such a train's existence, so we can still hope that one day humanity will be able to cover significant distances in short periods. Mega projects are highly important endeavors. They demand significant investments and involve immense risks, but in the long run, they provide substantial benefits to all of humanity. They help us better comprehend the universe and our planet as well as develop new technologies that can enhance the lives of every inhabitant of Earth. Thank you for watching.